Well, you okay? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's it. But here, can we start with the reading? And this will be the part we stopped on last time. So, like last time, we just talked about um, the brief, um, a brief introduction about the thing of fair trade. So, like I guess fair trade is a um, sort of not so familiar topic for many of us. But like with more information you get, you can try to pay more attention to the issues in the society nowadays. Okay, like if we read the short paragraph, this is the paragraph we talked about last time. Please read this together when I was shopping. When I was shopping at a supermarket, I was surprised to see that the bottle of water that I was taught by a boy tugging at his father's sleeve. Yeah, let's get this coffee with his heart on. It means the farmers get a fair deal. The child also picked up some bananas with fair trade marks on them while talking enthusiastically about how buying this fruit. Generation has already gotten used to the idea of fair trade. To them, it is obviously right that the farmers who work day in, day out in the fields should get a fair price. So I hear last time we talked about the first paragraph, there were three. Points. Uh, the first point is that when you say day in and day out, the comma isn't needed always. So you want to go home, you can you know, say it always. Like if the sentence is not that long, you just like day in, day out without the comma. Okay, so you say like, when you say day in and day out, last time we talked about this expression. In addition to meaning you do something every day, it has one more meaning. So like here, when you talk about day in and day out, usually you mean, how you going? Usually you mean that, the thing like takes a lot of energy and it is tiring to do. So when you say daring and day out, you can say like for example, those workers in Africa or in Southern America, they have to work on the plantation day in, day out. You mean it is tiring and they have to do it for very long hours. So like here it's a little bit different from every day. So for you or on a daily basis. Because because if you say I come to school on a daily basis, you just mean like every day, but you don't mean like something extra. But if you say day in, day out, your focus is clearer. You mean the thing is tiring and you have to do it like very often. It's okay. And also, last time you said fair deal and fair price. When you say fair price, it means you pay the farmer with more money. But if you say fair deal, the word deal last time, I asked you, last time we took all the word deal. Uh, there are two possible meanings of the word deal, I ask you, like any idea? Like, um, Vicky, may I ask you like last time when we talked about the word deal, fair deal, it has two meanings. Any idea? It's okay, fell, remember? What? Oh, yeah, you can say fair, this is a deal, okay, down, like treatment. So like here, when you say we have a deal, you mean like maybe you make business with another person, then that question is like you say we got a fair deal, you mean we got a fair offer. So you mean it's just a So like you can say like I got a fair price, I got a fair deal from the buyer. So like number one would be price, number two would be treatment. So like here the first meaning of the up. The, the line here, it means that uh, with this mark of fair trade on the bananas, it means that the farmers get a fair deal. At the beginning of this paragraph, it already shows you not only the money, but also the treatment they have on the plantation will be better. Okay, yeah. But then at the end of the first paragraph, we say get a fair price, it means the money, the salary they get on the plantation will be higher than before. Yeah, okay. So like here, we can move on to the second paragraph. Okay, yeah. We can move on. Then, right there in the supermarket, my mind flashed back ten years to a painful memory of my first visit to Costa Rica. I was there to find out what life was like for workers in the banana industry. There, I met Maria. I sat next to her, listened to her story, and was lost for words. Like many local men, Maria's husband, Juan, worked on a banana plantation. His job was to inject a chemical called DBCP into the ground with a handheld device to kill pests and boost harvests. He prepared the chemical, carried it in an open container, and reloaded the device from an open barrel many times a day. As he worked, he breathed in DBCP, which was also often sprayed on his skin. Okay, 
this is a long paragraph, but the words you sign are not that long. So like here, can we check the answers together? So like here, could you please read the paragraph to get a name by air? Supermarket by mine. So here the first word, uh, semi, did you get it? Yeah, you're right. Flashback 10 years for a painful memory of my first visit to Costa Rica. So here, can we stop here for a minute? If you say something flash, something flashes, you mean something goes very fast before you just should shut it out, like flashlight. So if you say like flashback to a memory, it means you R and I. If you say like something white. A word that begins with the R. Re, re, recall. Recall. So how do you spell the word recall? R E C A L L. Yeah, so when you say you recall something, we remember something again. Right. Yes. But here, flash, since the word of or the meaning of the word flash means goes very fast. So like here, you don't just recall something, you thought of it right away in a sudden. So like here, if you say suddenly, in a sudden, another word that you can think of, it's either quite. But, but immediately, I like that. And there's also one more word we learned, in, instantly, you are right. So how do you spell instantly? I-S-D-A-N-T-O-R-L-Y. So like here, when you say you, uh, you are mine. Usually you can say like you are mine or my memory. So like here, your mind flash back to something just means you recall something instantly. Like flash back to a memory. So like usually, Flashback to is the whole expression you said like you recall something in sudden. So if you said like when I listen to that song, my mind flash back to a memory of my elementary school life. It's okay, yeah. So here we should move on. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. I was there to find out this word very easy. Could you just shout? What? I was there to find out what? What life was like for workers in the banana industry? So like, can you say what life was like? Here, my question is, if I change the word what into how, then the word like, is it still needed? No, easy, right? So like here, so you can teach me, you I should have been in Costa Rica, in Costa Rica, the government of the government of the government of what life was, what life was like. But here you say like how life was, then you don't need a word like. So you can say like it's hard to imagine how simple life was when I was in junior high school. So you can say like it's hard to imagine what a uh, like simple life was like when I was in junior high school. So like if you use the word what, you use the word like. If no, they just have it. It's okay. Yeah. So here you means you man there, I met Maria. I say next to her, this is the story, it was, the next word, Manita, did you catch the word? You're right, it was lost for words. So I feel like many local men, Maria's husband, one, work on banana, I'm a banana, the next word, uh, Melissa, did you catch the word? You're right, plantation. So here, I sat next to her, listened to her story, and was lost for words. When you say you were lost for words, what do you mean when you say you were lost for words? Here, here's a quick picture to show you. When you say you were lost for words. Here. Like, when you say you were lost for words, did you see that? Like, when you say you're lost for, you were lost for words, you might say like, you should not say something. But like, here usually when you say meal, meal, you cannot think of something to say. There are several levels. So here the first level, did you see the words on the screen? When you say you were lost for words, and you look like this, what would be the Chinese, Chinese meaning that you use to talk about someone who looks like this? Did you see the words actually on the screen? No? This. So when you, yeah, yeah, when you say you were, do you think of better me? I don't know. Like when we say somebody was lost for work, somebody was lost. You see the, you see the, what? Yeah, yeah, we are like that. But when you say yeah, yeah, but like here this would be, you can say yeah, or here would be the next level. Yeah, like this. So like, this is yeah, I like that. But this is you feel shocked. But when you say you were lost for words, there would be one key meaning. 
When you say you were lost for words, you feel somehow sad. You feel somehow sad. So you tell me, you say, I was lost for words when I heard the sad news. Usually when you say you were lost for words, the thing isn't so positive. It's okay. But okay, what about this? Make a guess. Here, like, if you say somebody who was speechless, speechless, you have to have a new word. Because they have a new word, some of you have a new word. She was speechless when she found I ate her lunch. She was speechless when she found I ate her lunch. Then when you say somebody got speechless, what would be a possible Chinese meaning, I ask you? Any idea? Anita, make a guess. I was speechless when I found fish ate all my candies. So like when you say speechless, you like <coughs> shocked and couldn't say anything. So this is a little bit of a When you say you were lost for words, it's just that you were lost for words. 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 You mean you couldn't say anything. But you expressed somehow a sad emotion. But when you say you were speechless, you couldn't say anything, but you felt surprised, a little bit shocked. So you can say like she, I was speechless when I found there was no water when I needed to shower last night. So you can say like she, yeah, did it ever happen to you? Never? Yeah. But then what about the next level? Would be the highest level. Mm -hmm. So like maybe like one day you can come to school and tell you like she is going to get married tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like if you say like here, dumb found it. You know dumb. Maybe somebody who's dumb, stupid. But some somebody who's dumb also means somebody like who couldn't act at all. Then you just dumb, you're not smart, or you're not able to understand. But dumb found it. The Chinese meaning would be like this. Yeah. So I get you with three levels when you are uh, generally three levels when you express somebody. Couldn't say anything at all, but with different sorts of emotions. Number one, like lost for words, somebody who felt sad somehow, or maybe maybe you don't really feel sad, but just like you read a very profound story or a very interesting story, and you keep thinking about it, and you were lost for words. This is 想到出神也被是 lost for words. So at the level, you begin to say lost for words. 不一定是不好的，所以要读音也可以啦。就只是说 ，you are thinking about something and you have nothing to say. You see? And then, yeah. So could you please just together be lost for words? Be lost for words. Be speechless. And here the highest level would be like be. This word is like dumbfounded. Dumbfounded. Yeah, the word the letter B is not pronounced, so it's just dumb and founded. It's okay. Yeah. So could you please just together dumbfounded? Yeah, this is it. So like here, let's move it back to. Yeah, 
And then Ed reloaded the device from an open barrel many times a day. As it worked, the, the next word, or uh, Sam, is the next word? E. Yeah, <coughs> here, without the letter E. This is a, this is a noun. Without with the letter E, it is a verb. So like here, without the letter E, you can the words together, breath. Breath. But with the letter E, it is a verb. So we change the pronunciation from breath to breathe. You're right, so here you can again breathe. Breath. Yeah, but here it should be breath. Oh, sorry, breathe the E. Sorry, yeah, so that like E, breathe the E, and B, B, C, P. It's okay, so like here, breath is the noun, breathe would be the verb. Yeah. No? Before I move on, here, give us a little bit of a Many times a day, you have four, huh? That looks like I'll be three. I'm sorry, that's high ball. So it's really about many times a day. So it's not a bit of time to go forward. So you know, I'll be seeing you soon when you show two and four six to three six eight. You can say, oh, I see her many times a day, or many times a day. Not sure, right? You can't be four. Only when you use, or the first time I find the time, I feel like Abby is a girl, and she's got seven girls. So like, you can say like, yeah, you can say like, when I saw her. For the first time, so only when you emphasize for the first, for the second, for the third, each to the show tell you for. So you know you can actually each other. So you show I go to the school shop in the basement many times a day. 强调次数的都这个地方没有 for. It's okay. So like only when it's like for the first time, I feel surprised. 第一次的时候我觉得很惊讶 ，but for the second time, I didn't. It's okay. Yeah, this is it. So here before we move on, we should read the paragraph again. Then right there. Oh, my first visit to yeah, this place is called Costa Rica. Costa Rica. I was there to find out what life was like for workers in the banana industry. There, I met Maria. I sat next to her, listened to her story, and I was lost for words. Like many old men, Maria has a He prepared a canful, carried it in an open container, and reloaded the device from an open barrel many times a day. As he worked, he breathed in the BCP, which also often sprayed on the skin. Yeah, so this would be the environment of the banana workers. Very sad, right? Like, um, here the news broke out. Like around 2008 or 2009, so like around six to seven years ago, um, the bad working environment of people in South America was reported. So like here, these were the pictures taken during the time of 2007, 2000, or 2007, 2008. So like here, basically you see, they just use their bare hands without any gloves. I touch the chemical of DBCP, and I use the container from the barrel, and use the container to kill pests. So you see, they just use this container and use kind of tube. So they just inject. They just in um, we can call it inject, or we can say they pour P O U R. They pour the liquid or the chemical into the ground. So like here, they directly, they directly kill the pests by using the chemical. So like here, basically, they didn't use any gloves. So like here, they. Got contact with the chemical many times a day. So, like here, it would be no wonder that they got like many diseases because of the chemical. Very sad. So, like here, like we move on to the next part. Yeah, you ready? So, part three. It will be on the next page. So, we can start now. Now do you know that it's hidden dangers? However, the chemical manufacturers did. And so did the banana companies. As early as the 1950s, the manufacturers of this chemical knew that DBCP caused infertility and mutation, but they blacked out this piece of information. Then, in 1977, it was disclosed that DBCP had made 35 workers at a factory infertile. The U.S. government quickly banned its use and stopped registering products containing DBCP. Nevertheless, the manufacturers of this chemical went on exporting it to poor countries. The banana companies also continued to use it, since they needed to make sure that banana yields would not decline. Okay, so 
Okay, some of the words are the keywords we learned for unit four. So like you sort of thought of the words, but you couldn't memorize the whole word. That would be understandable. Okay, so like here, can we check the answers together? Uh, Juan, new Jean. Did you catch the word? New? It's okay, yeah. So like here, new Julie. Did you catch the word? You're right. New nothing, obviously hidden dangerous. So like here, usually try it out besides me special. You say you knew nothing of. Just mean you were a word of. Like, you wouldn't say you have found out. Uh, where? How does it spell aware? A W K R E. So when you say you totally are not aware of something, you can say for example, you can just say they are unaware. It's okay. So you can say like I'm aware of something. What's the other one? Can you say that? C type of thing. She became no consciousness. Consciousness. Can you say consciousness? Can you say consciousness? Conscious. S C I. Conscious, unconscious. So like you say, uncon, unconscious. You know, and SCI will be with here. SCI, this place is called Qingxia. Because SCI, it is not just a single 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 know. So when you say you don't know anything around you at all, like you you know you are conscious of something, but you you are unconscious. You know nothing about the things around you. Okay, yeah. So like if you say unconscious of or unaware of, you mean like you know nothing of. The things around you. So he said, "Like, he knew that the news was a lie. She knew nothing of the news. She was unaware of the news. She was unconscious of the news." Okay. Yeah. So you usually read the words to get unaware, unconscious. Yeah. So like, read out unconscious of, which is the difference between the two. So in this case, you you can just say she became unconscious, but she has to have a conscious mind. So you say she became unconscious of the danger. 就只是他对即将来的危险没有察觉到，所以觉得明显察觉。Unconscious be 有意识的或是有察觉的，是不是？呀，所以说 here one was totally unaware of hidden dangers. However, the chemical this is a long word. Yeah, you tell. That's the word. Manufacturer. Work. So if you say manufacturer, M A N U F A C. So like manufacturer. 这个是在。第三册我学过的是 manufacture， 所以你说 manufacture without R， it is a verb， 所以你说 like um the company Foxconn manufactures iPhones like for the Apple company， so like manufacturer means the company that manufactures products， 你说可以直接直接直接直接 manufacturer， manufacturer， yeah， so like if you use it， after you use it as manufacture， it is a verb， 这当中。And then so did the banana company. So here we need to move on to this part together as early as 1950s. The manufacturer of the time of you that DBCP calls the infertility, infertility and mutation. So infertility is the key word of unit four means I'm able to give birth to babies. Yeah, but what about mutation? <coughs> you oh, sorry, do you like watch X Men movies? X Men, Wolverine, Iron, Captain, Captain, Iron, 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 Wolverine. Not Iron, 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 Iron. In the movie, they call themselves. 有有看过 X 有看过 X 战警系列的电影有吧？所以在里面他们叫的自己是变种人。New Mutants, mutants, M U T A N T. So in the movie, they call they don't call themselves Superman and Superwoman. They call themselves mutants. 变就是变种人。So like here, when you say mut mutation, just means of a normal genetic change. 就指的是基因变 mutation. Yeah, of normal genetic change. Of a normal, 可以问一下吗？不正常的。Normal, N O R M A L. 不正常的。Abnormal. So like abnormal genetic can be done. Genetic and then change. So like this mutation means abnormal genetic change. It's okay. Yeah. Same for they. Here, out this piece of information. Here, this verb. Did you catch the word? They blacked out. Blacked out. So like here, blacked out is one of the key expressions of unit four. Basically, you black something out. 把东西变黑。
This means you hide a piece of information on purpose. In Chinese, you might say, right? So like you could say, um, our government knew uh, the loophole, loophole in the food security system, but they blacked out this problem to the public. So how if you say you black, black something out, you make something unknown to the public by on purpose. So you don't black something out to create an issue. Yeah, but you can ask Black out is another kind of thing. If you say be black out, what does it mean? Or if you say a blackout, so it's not just common sense. You can say that in the summer, during the summer, Taipei often Taipei sometimes faces a blackout because we use too much electricity. So when you say there was a blackout, you mean so it's a stoppage of electricity, not just blackout. So when you say like blackout doesn't mean it's an even being cable. So when you say there was a blackout last night and it turned out that the electricity company had a problem with their system, then so you see from two a blackout. But here if you say like uh Taiwan sometimes gets blacked out, so it's the kind of a place gets blacked out means a place loses the connection to electricity, but we say uh, there was a blackout in a place, this is in the Hong Kong. It's okay, so like here's blackout. You can use it, uh, black, black something out, you mean you hide this information. But here you say a blackout to mean the situation of having no electricity. It's okay, yeah, so here you use the blackout. Blackout. Be blacked out. Yeah, thank you. So like, all you can say like last year when there was a strong I guess like during the summer there was a serious blackout in Taipei. Oh, during the typhoon, did you lose electricity when you in the get in the area where you live during the summer? No idea. No. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so like here then, in, it was disclosed that so like here there was a time. Did you know about it? May I ask you, Winnie? Did you catch the time in nineteen? 77. So like in 1977, it was disclosed that BBCP had made 35 workers at the factory in Bordeaux. So like Went down. Went down exporting it to poor countries. The banana companies also continue to use it since they needed to make sure that the banana don't get in the street. In the street. Oh, sorry, the banana eels. Sorry, the banana productions. So I hear the word eel. We talked about the word before, it means the word grow. Production. So I hear the banana production, the banana eels. Because they don't eels, they don't production. So they don't eels, they don't eels, they don't eels, they don't yeah, okay. so you can say like the apple eels in Taiwan are very stable. In the Taiwan is very stable. Oh, sorry, you should have pineapples. And the product, the eels of pineapples are very stable in Taiwan. Yeah. And so like here, this would be the second part, so like uh, the third part. So this would be number one, we talk about the background. Number two, we talk about um, the working environment. Number three, we talk about the substance. The substance and its harm to human health. Okay, yeah, so like you can read the parts together, twining nothing of. However, the chemical manufacturers did, and so did the banana companies. As early as the 1950s, the manufacturers of this chemical knew that these could be causing fertility and infection, but they blacked out this piece of information. Then in 1977, it was disclosed that BBCP had made 35 workers at a factory in Porto. The U.S. government quickly banned its use and stopped registering products containing BBCP. Nevertheless, the manufacturers of this chemical went done exporting it to four countries. The banana companies also continued to use it 
since they needed to make sure that banana yields would not decline. So before we move on to like here, the companies, they didn't stop doing so because they needed to make sure the banana production would not decline. So can you use the word decline? I ask you, what does that mean? Uh, grandma, sorry, yeah, the word decline, what does that mean? Yeah, you're right, so drop, would not drop. So I hear, in your chemistry class, did you learn something about DBCP? I don't think so. Yeah, this would be DBCP. Right? Right? So like here, a chemical substance. Could you please read the English explanation together? A chemical substance? Which was commonly used to kill worms in the soil, but was later banned in the 1970s. Yeah, so I hear this chemical was banned a long time ago, but you see how serious the harm was it had done to human beings. The next picture will be a little bit gross, but it was very real, this. Yeah, very sad. So like here, this would be uh, the baby born like by a lady who got constant contact with DBCP. So you see, uh, not human beings, they could cause the change to their skin color, like whiten their skin. But for women, they could give birth to like baby with mutation. So like a very sad effect on them. So now, now the environment has changed a lot. But like you see in the past, many poor workers, they needed to face this difficulty. Yeah, so like very sad. So like, let's move on to the third part. So you ready? Yeah, it's on the right hand side on the second page. So like here now we are going to find out what kind of sad effect this chemical had on Juan's wife. Juan's wife. So like here, uh, let's listen to this. Day after day, Juan's body absorbed this poison, and the poison finally took its toll years later. It was November 16, 1993, and it should have been one of Juan and Maria's happiest days. Yet, after Maria had given birth, there seemed to be a terrible problem that no one wanted to mention, since none of the hospital staff dared to bring her son to her. Yeah, this is very sad. I and mean, the, the second part, the later part, will be about uh, the result of the poor baby. So I'm giving you say day after day. So you can't start with two Day after day, then day and day out. So day for the end of Every day, every day, on a daily basis, day in and day out, it's very difficult. You have to focus on every day, day in, day out. But here, day after day, uh, the meaning will be more neutral, just mean repeatedly, repeatedly. So if you say day after day, in the same way, you say, um, we offer a message, we need to practice day after day. Uh, we need to practice day after day for our coming performance. So if you say day after day, repeatedly, this is more general. So if you say if these words mean something different, if you don't mean something you like day in and day out, if you mean you like day in and day out, if you mean something you just need to do it over and over, but you think, yeah, you need to do it, and you don't think you don't like it, then you just use day after day. You know what I mean? So you say that in order to reach my ideal performance, I have to prepare for it day after day. So like day after day, this means but you don't really mean it's not something you don't like. It's okay, yeah. And here day after day, one's body, this is a difficult word. Did you get it? Upper. Outdoor. Yeah, you're right. Outdoor, this poison, and the poison from the two is toll. T O. You see now this is toll. Because it can be something you should T O L L. So when you say this is toll, it means cause the damage. So here, outdoor. Here, if you say like, um, we need to, sorry, we need to eat enough nutrition every day to maintain our health. But here, if you say, yeah, just take it. But here, if you say, we need to take in enough nutrition every day to stay healthy, you mean you need to absorb. So if you're not absorb, you just take in. It's okay. Yeah, but here, one's body took in. This poison, and the poison from the leaf to its hole, just mean caused its damage. That was another insult to one's health. Years later, it was November 16, so hey, did you catch the time? 19, yeah, 1993. And it should have been one of Juan's and Maria's happiest days. Here, may I ask you, should have been, why do we use this kind of usage? They probably will go into our person, so should have been, should be, for you, ma'am. Should have been 跟 should be. 用 should have been的时候, 
Let me out. It was against the truth. And you thought it could have been that way. So it's very much should have been with his turn. In Gai Yao Shi, Dai Yao, it was not. It's okay. So you can show, yes, uh, I should have called you yesterday. So you didn't call, I didn't call you. You said, I didn't call you. You didn't call you. You said, I didn't call you. You said, I didn't call you. You said, So like here, you say, I should have called you yesterday. Just means I didn't call you. And now I think I should have done that. So you can see that the person should be in the way. 已经发生了不是，这是一个过去的假设。你说看一下，所以这，他会说 ，yet after Maria had given the next word， 呃 ，and， 你看这， after Maria had given birth， you're right， there seems to be a terrible problem that Noah wanted to the next word， 呃 ，Ruby， Carol， wanted to mention， mention。Here another word， when you say you mention something， there's a two expression， 谈及到一件事情。Here S type of， 可以问。谈起的，谈谈论到，谈论到，好，有印象吗 ？I never mention my grades with my family members. I never speak, speak, speak of, speak of. So like you say, I never speak of my grades with my parents. Or 他从来不跟我讲他担心的事。She never speaks of her worry with me. When you say you speak of something, you mean you mention something. It's okay. So like here, it's a huge expression you're gonna speak of. Yeah. So here, like, uh, there seems to be a credible problem that no one wants to speak of. Yeah. Since none of the hospital staff, there's a word. There to, there to. Here, the word there. So you should show it. When you say there to do something, you put it in a different place. You just don't want it. Yeah. 可是如果你说 I dare not do that， 这个地方可以改一下嘛？这个地方就是，呃，这边你可以说 dare none of the hospital staff dare to bring。可是这边你可以说 none， 呃、uh, ，I dare， 呃、uh, ，she dare， she dare not go to the restroom alone at night。我晚上说不敢一个人自己去上洗手间，所以意思来， dare to bring or none of the staff dare。Uh, she here. She dare to bring. She didn't dare to bring. She dare not. She dare to bring. Yeah, here. No, sorry. The word dare can be used to describe something. So here, you can say, "None of the hospital staff dared bring her son to her." This is what I want to stress. So here, you can use to describe something. I dare go to the room alone at night. I dare not go to the room alone at night. So here, you can say, "You can use it to describe something. You can use it to describe something." You can use it to describe something. None of the hospital staff. Dared bring her son to her. You know what I mean. So like here, if you use the word dare, you can say dare to do something or dare do something. So this is this one. So I'll read it out. So I'll just read the part together day after day. Our door is poisoned, and the poison bottle next to it is all. Years later, it was November 16, 1993, and it should have been one of one of Maria's happy days. Yet after Maria had given birth, there seems to be a terrible problem that no one wants to mention, since none of the hospital staff dared to bring a son to her. So this is the dare that most people wanted. So you can say dared bring her son to her. Ah, dare not. No one has to dare. Yes, sorry. None of us will dare to. Yes, this is the two questions. No, I just. 买买买他的书。刚才想说这边的 dare 呢，如果你当助动词用的话，你也可以说 I dare go to the room alone。所以这边的 dare to， 如果你省略的话，你把它当助动词用。这样知道后，我就提醒你一下。这边就只要知道，这边如果是 dare 加 ed to 的话，是这样 wanted to。可是如果直接没有 to 的话，你把它当做助动词 should bring 的意思用。所以就这个地方如果没有 to 的话，把它当助动词也可以的。知道后，大家知道一下。Yeah， so like here， can move on to the first part。You ready? So this will be on the last side of the second page.
my apologies. So like here. Day after day. <laughs> yeah. Can I borrow your book and I'll read it to you? So like here we use it as a listening practice. Uh, okay. Yeah. You ready? When she finally held her son in her arms, she understood why the staff had been reluctant to show her the baby. The baby was severely deformed. His head was four times larger than his body. His eyes and nose were joined together. Parts of his brain were missing. And it had all been caused by his father's constant exposure to DBCP. Rage bubbled up inside me because the manufacturers knew of the dangers of DBCP, but they disregarded them <laughs> as a labor house. I felt a burning desire to tell consumers about the misery suffered by people like Maria and Juan in order to make it possible for customers to be able to put cheap fruit into their shopping carts. You ready? Yeah. But she barely held her son her arm. She understood why the staff had been, this is one of the keywords, April. Did you catch the word? Had been. Meal, did you catch the word? We. No idea. We luck. Reluctant. So, like here, when you say reluctant, it is one of the keywords of the unit. For me, unwilling. Unwilling, reluctant. To show her the baby. The baby was. This is the word. Oh, wait, wait. She the word severely. No? Severe. S E V E. Right. Severely means seriously. Yeah, so like SARS. Severe, acute, respiratory syndrome. So you the SARS. Yeah, so like your severely means seriously before. Before just means like out of shape. Like severely out of shape. Out of shape. Her head was four times larger than his body. His eyes and nose were. There's a word. You get it? Sandy. What is the word? Joint. You're right. Like we're joined together. So you want to join? I don't see them connect. We're connected together. So this is what we're going to find out. Is being tied So I hear her head, her eyes and nose were joined together. We're connected together. Part of the brain were. The next word. Uh, oh, man, I need to tell you. Just the word. Okay, word. Missing, missing. Yeah, so it was missing means was gone. Were gone means not there. We're not there. They took half of the family. It had all been caused by his father's constant. The next word? Like, doi. Did you catch the word? Constant. Exposure. You're like constant exposure to DPCP. So constant just you can see that type of free. Frequent, F R E Q U E N T, frequent. So like here, frequent exposure, constant exposure. It's okay, it's so like here, it's a word. What is a word? What's the word? Uh, really? Yeah, you're right, rage. So here, rage, another word, anger, the So like here, rage bubbled up inside you. Really want to say that? word. You say some kind of emotion bubbled up inside you, you couldn't control your emotion. This is new. So something bubbled up inside you means you couldn't control your emotion. Because the manufacturers knew all the data of DBCP, but they disregarded them. Means they ignored them. As I left my house, I feel the burning, the next word, did you catch it? I just desire to tell consumers about the misery, the next word, uh, Cindy. Uh, suffered by people. So like here, means a burning desire means a strong urge. And strong, you want strong. S T R O N G, strong urge. U R G E. So like burning desire, strong urge. Like to tell people the middle is suffered by them. To make it possible for customers to be able to put cheap fruit into their shopping. The last word, shopping. Betty. Card. You're right. Shopping card. Yeah. So this would be the fourth part. The three weeks together when she finally held her son. She understood why the staff had been reluctant to show her the baby. The baby was severely deformed. 
His head was four times larger than his body. His eyes and nose were joined together. Parts of his brain were missing. And it had all been caused by his father's constant exposure to PCP. Rage doubled up inside because the manufacturers knew all the dangers of the PCP, but they disregarded them. As I left the house, I felt a burning desire to tell consumers about the misery suffered by people like Maria and Juan in order to make it possible for consumers to be able to put cheap fruit into their shopping cart. 这地方有个叫 New Off 吗？这边就是在提醒你一次，你说 I know that 代表我知道这件事情。If you say you know of, just mean somebody tell you so you know that. 所以这个地方不能再说 I know her. 是我认识她。I know of her. 是我听过她。不一样哦，知道不？这地方不是用表述语，它是说 I know that means you personally read it or you personally studied it. But if you say I know of it, means somebody told you about it so that you know it. 有点不一样哦，知道不？所以这地方的 know of 就指的是 the manufacturers were informed of. 他们有被告知这样的危险。OK, yeah. So I guess this lesson is a bit heavy. So here. This will be another information I want to show you. Do you know where it is in Taipei? Like, if, I guess sometimes you you go to Xinyishu with your friends. I guess so. So I get H and M. This is a store in Xinyishu. We don't stop down there. We don't stop looking for them. How many of the brands do you know? I guess you know Spao. This is the big store in Xinyishu. Spao. No idea. But what about Century Twenty First? Also in Forever Twenty One, I guess we have Forever Twenty One also in Xinyishu, right? And also, yeah, also Xinyishu, Uniqlo. Yeah, I guess this is a store that you often go to. Yeah, I guess so. Zara, not so much. Top shops in England. We don't have this in Taiwan, but like here, uh, Century Century Twenty Third, Forever Twenty One, Gap, Spao, H and M, Uniqlo. They are all the brands you can find in Taiwan. So like here we have a store for them. We call them. Fast fashion, fast fashion. So I hear you keep reading the parts you get off. Yeah, the real brand. We'll talk about this uh, in a second hour. So I hear 